Last but not least, people in Germany are getting fed up with radical climate protests. This woman is going viral after she pulled one activist off the road. Get this, look at that, by her hair. Who? Those protesters are from a group known for sitting in the road to stop traffic, even gluing their hands to the road. Who would do that? They did. German police took some protesters into custody, but they also say they're investigating possible criminal charges against that woman who yanked the protester away. I mean, Molly, what are you thinking? <laughs> Pulling someone's hair off the road. Well, I think that it's very serious to block traffic. I mean, people use our roads to, ambulances use it to get people to the hospital. People are you know, having babies. There are women who need to get to work and their babysitter needs to get there. Like, it's a very serious thing to block traffic and it should be taken very seriously. Here you see the police taking care of some of the protesters, but in general, we have had a lot of these protesters not be handled as, um, as they should be by, by the police who are there to protect everybody. Yeah, you know, it is very serious, Guy, but this is like eye for an eye, justice. <laughs> yeah, I, I think no one's going to condone violence, but I think for some people, there's something satisfying to see people fight back against these totally obnoxious hmm. folks. And you see this across Europe, to some extent here in the U.S. as well. And it is the opposite of winning hearts and minds. This is yeah. active damage to their cause, just angering people. Um, so in some ways, I hope they keep doing it because they're poisoning the well for their own terrible cause. I just want to clarify, you said no one condones violence. I condone violence occasionally. I mean, it's sometimes <laughs> oh, a good... you do not, Molly, you do not. Um, Harris... I, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> one, one thing I was saying... i right now. They're, they're gluing their hands, some of them, to it's the road. It's disgusting. And according to foxnews.com, one of the activists screamed in pain as a responder Ooh. tried to free his hand. Like, uh, okay. What do you expect? <laughs> Let, let's right. just remember when they were doing that with their butts at the at the coffee shops, and yes. then they wanted to, def you know, defend face the the precious artwork and these people are thirsty for attention if you're going to become a human thirst trap and they decide to pull you <laughs> off the pavement and you have voluntarily glued your hands to the pavement here's some tylenol yeah because it's going to hurt it's going to hurt whether they pick themselves up off the, the pavement and what are we supposed to do wait for hours i also don't condone violence and i know you were <laughs> kidding molly at least i think she was yeah. um <laughs> But at the same time, then let's be equal in our treatment, not just by the police. The police are doing their jobs. When the prosecutor gets this, charge these people. Yeah, they should It's be endangering charged. lives when you block the roadway. It is. I, and what I wonder is if they're actually even bringing any positive attention to whatever their cause is. They're I not. think they're just inflaming people, especially you mentioned when they do it at the museums, Harris. Uh, that drives me nuts more than anything. Yeah. Well, good rule of thumb, don't glue yourself to anything. Well, <laughs> good rule of thumb. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.